What's up everybody? It's Nick here. Sorry that I've been on a little bit of a hiatus with these videos. I started student teaching at a junior high two weeks ago, so that's why my time has been a little tied up. But I'm going to start to make this an every Friday thing, so there will be some more content coming out over the next couple weeks. Today we're going to be doing a different format. So instead of the 16th note grid, we're going to do the triplet grid. Inside the triplet grid, we're going to play with a different sticking than your traditional alternating sticking. Instead, we're going to change that sticking to doubles instead of singles. So it'll look something like this. So again, sort of like the 4 over 3 grid that we did on 16th notes, this is more of a 2 over 3 grid or 3 over 2, depending on how you're thinking about it. Once you figure out how the patterns go with the upstrokes and the downstrokes, you can usually figure out how it works with the rest of the phrase. I would say the most difficult passage are the twos because there's sort of a, a non-intuitive sticking in the middle where you're, you're playing this two doubles with an accent on the first note. And that for me was probably the hardest section to sort of wrap my head around. But once I got it and figured out that it switched hands halfway through, it was a little easier. So here is the triplet grid with doubles sticking. So yeah, the easiest part of the grid is the ones, honestly, because you're literally just playing doubles the entire time and then there's a quick turnaround with either right left or a double on the same hand. So it looks kind of like it's actually much more challenging in the twos and the fours to wrap your head around how the sticking works. Hopefully the sheet music below helped you out. But again, if you're working through this the first time, I recommend that you don't write it down and you try to just conceptualize it here because that's much more valuable to be able to do than simply look at a page and play what's on the page. Hope this video was helpful for some of you. Looking forward to doing some more in the future. Thanks for watching.